Hello, it's Marco here. I'm lazy, but we're going to get this model with its textures within the FBX into Unreal Engine 5 and it also should work with any other game engine. <laughs> Unity sucks. So there are quite a few things that we have to take into account. Let's just start off by looking at one of these materials. So I'm going to click on this one. Let's go over into materials, metal plane, come over into shading and we can see then we've got the texture mat plugged into the roughness, but we also have it going into a color ramp and that's going into a metallic. Now, if you get one thing out of this video, this is very important. This will not work. Do you understand? This will not work. Now, the reason for it not working is because there is a color ramp. Textures need to be plugged into the principal shader directly. Textures need to be plugged into the principal shader directly. Textures need to be plugged into the principal shader directly. Okay? So, this material works. This material is stuffed. Okay? Stuffed. And that's the no preview add-on. Link in the description. But anyway, it will not work. The only material that I've actually come across is this normal down here the normal because the normal can be plugged into the normal map and that goes into the normal slot in the principal shader. That is fine. But anything with a color ramp, the metallic one will come through. The roughness will not. I don't know why, but roughness doesn't seem to be working regardless. And the diffuse, because it goes into a mixed shader, it will not come across. Across. But if we want to go down that route of exporting everything, we can select everything minus the empty because I find that there's actually issues if we do the empty and also any lights or cameras. This is another thing to remember. You can see that we have a whole bunch of objects here. Just keep this in mind, but we'll fix it later on. So from here, I'm just going to go file export FBX. I'm going to go into auto and we're going to change this to copy, select this button up here. Um, I'm just going to export it as the pod racer one dot FBX. And what I'm going to do is do selected only because if I have that untick, it's going to try and export the empty or the lights and the cameras and so on and so forth. I just want what I've got selected to be exported. And from here we click export FBX. Now over into Unreal Engine, this is our scene, the one that I just kind of muck around with, considering the fact it's called Let's Break UE5. I'm going to open up the content drawer. Let's bring across my file system, Windows Explorer and click and drag that FBX into here. Let's just come back over into here. And I don't need a skeletal mesh because there is no skeletal mesh. Let's build it as Nanite, why not? And in materials, I've got import textures already enabled, create materials, good. Now, once I click import, got a whole bunch of errors, but that's predominantly because of the UV mapping. I didn't really do a job, any job. But now we can see each individual piece has come across, not as a whole pod racer, but each individual piece. So that was something that I told you to keep back in your mind. But from here, what I can do is select all these, select all the mesh. Let's click and drag and dump it in here. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We've got our pod racer in. However, let's have a look at some of the materials. But this is now where it kind of gets a little bit silly. I don't understand why, but slight problem here. So I've already done some testing as well. And if I open up material 001, we can see that we've got the base color and the normal. If we jump over into Blender, you can actually see that we've got base color, metallic roughness, and the normal. If I remove the base color, we can see that that's where we get our brownie color, but the metallic and the roughness haven't come across. Now, weird, stupid problem, which I don't fully understand, but this could be between Blender to UE5, so it could be a localized issue. The roughness map becomes the metallic. So if I were to remove the metallic, the roughness will come up into the metallic. So let me quickly re-export this. Jumping into Unreal Engine, let's go in here. I've got test open, material 001. If we open that up, now we can see that we have our roughness texture in the metallic. So if we've got them both, there's a conflict and it just doesn't work. I don't understand why I don't have an answer for you, but it's because Stone Cold said so. Now, if we come back into Blender and we want everything as one model rather than a whole bunch of individual models, we can select everything minus the empty. I'm gonna select one piece, 
We can now come over into the modifiers, make sure we've applied all our modifiers here by coming over into the main window, press spacebar to search or F3 or F3 FN if you're on a laptop. And I'm gonna go apply modifiers. So let's go apply modifiers. And now this should apply the modifier across all our objects. Control J to join. And there we go. So now this pod racer is one model. So hopefully you got what the heck? Oh, it's building textures. So hopefully you got something out of this little tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please just, you know, just, just hit the like button. I mean, you know, if you want me to do more Unreal tutorials, let me know down below. I need to know. Yo. As I walk through the club and this is what I see. Okay.